One of the enhancements introduced in the latest version of Sage Accounts is the ability to edit or delete transactions while other users are in the software. Before we demonstrate it, we'll quickly remind you what it was like prior to this latest update being released. So you'd make a mistake, go into Transactions, select it, and then you either want to edit or delete it. You click the option at the top, and the Access Denied message appears advising you that you can't access this option because another user is logged in. You then have to get everyone to log out or wait until they've logged out so that you can make your correction. With the latest update installed, this is no longer a problem. Let's have a look at the View menu, and we'll access the user list. And as you can see, there are two users logged into Sage50 accounts. With our transaction highlighted, we'll then click Edit. We now no longer get an Access Denied message, and we can make the required changes. There are some minor points still to be aware of with this new enhancement, though. If we go back to the View menu, open the user list, and access the Request tab. We can see that Michael is currently entering either a customer receipt or refund for the account CGS001. While Michael is doing this, if we highlight a transaction posted to that customer's account and try to edit or delete the transaction, we'll get an access denied message just while Michael finishes posting a transaction to that particular customer. Another scenario where this occurs, if we go into the user list, click the Request tab, and we'll see this time that our other user is using one of the error corrections options. If we try to use the Edit or Delete options while the other user is already using them, we'll get the Access Denied message again, just advising us that the other user is in the Error Corrections option. So, although we don't need to get the other users to log out, only one user can access the Edit or Delete options at any one time. To quickly show this, we'll go back to the user list, check the Requests tab, it looks like Michael has now finished using the error corrections options. So if we now try to edit the transaction, we can then make the required changes, or alternatively, we could just delete it. Let's just confirm that's what we want to do. And that's it done. So a great enhancement to Sage50 accounts. No more having to wait for users to log out so you can either edit or delete transactions.